the three body problem. This was recommended to me. Uh, there's a YouTube channel that I follow and he sold the hell out of this book. I was like, hey, I don't read a lot of science fiction. And this book really opened my eyes in terms of how different someone's mind can be in terms of just their their writing. The ideas were so lofty and, and complicated, but I, I really enjoyed them. Full disclosure, I did listen to this on Audible. Fake reader alert, fake reader alert, fake reader alert. But I really, recommend you listen to the audiobooks. The audiobook's very, very good. And I felt that listening to it also helped me absorb a lot of the theory that I wouldn't have been familiar with otherwise. Yeah, as a character, I'm giving it three. I, I almost gave it a 2.5, but uh, I'll give it a week three. Uh, I loved like the cop character. Um, I loved the uh, character, the woman in the beginning of the book and the way her arc is form i really enjoyed the experiences she had with the the communist party all of that was really interesting to me i wish that she i was more interested in her journey pulling off what she pulls off is no small feat kind of wanted to watch that happen more so than some of the mystery of, of what not knowing what was going to happen there would be like these opportunities for more depth in the characters because of the insane things that are happening and the writer chose to take but i also understand that the book would have been really long really long if he went into all of like the psychological and emotional ramifications in the way that something like this would deteriorate their relationships and i also understand that you know if the characters don't want to express these feelings fine that that might just be a choice that they make but it made me feel like some of the characters were a little stock uh and i enjoyed you know the chain smoking humphrey bogart cop but it you know that it, there were characters i felt like i'd kind of seen before and everybody was kind of on the nose there weren't a lot of there wasn't a lot of deepening or nuance in a lot of the characters but i did like the characters in terms of the plot i'm gonna give it a 3.5 because it's getting bonus points for the premise and for all of the thought that went into the setup which you don't see until the end of the book so it, I have a mixed feelings about when people decide that their backstory is the plot reveal, which happens in the book with more than one aspect of the book. Like you find out about the aliens a little bit later and that's the reveal. And then you find out about the motivations of some of the characters as a reveal. And I would rather there be more genuine plot twists. This is how all of this came to be. You know, you can't just not tell me stuff for a long time and then tell me stuff and be like, what a reveal. That works with like noir books, but, and this kind of has a noir element to it at times. When you don't know the rules of the world, because it's science fiction and anything can happen, you have to sort of set those rules in stone and then circumvent our expectation. Uh, otherwise, anything can just happen and you people be like, whoa, but anything can happen. So that was sort of the only thing that took me out of it was I was like, okay, and then another crazy freaking thing is, is happening that's not explainable just cause. And it did all sort of drive towards the climax. So in terms of the way it works structurally, it's fine. But it, that's sort of one of the things that I have hangups with in fantasy and science fiction is if I don't know the rules and the rules aren't explained in, a, in an engaging, memorable way, and then you just introduce crazy stuff, it's just more crazy stuff. It doesn't have an emotional weight. Style was good. The guy's got style. I got through the book really quickly, enjoyed hearing about what was going on. He's a great writer. I think that the way that he explained the concepts kept me interested, which that is no small feat in terms of like high concept science fiction, which is the big selling point of the book. And he pulled it off. Absolutely. Totally theme. Also four out of five. I thought that the takes on the way, you know, the government is involved in science, the way information is protected or kept from people and the reasons behind those things. What we have the right to know was an interesting thing. What are the government's motives? The government is made up of people that you can or cannot trust. Really good. Really good. Pacing. S solid. Data dumps. They happen. 
I get it, handled them very well. I feel like this book could have benefited from me being more invested in the characters. And I know that that's not the selling point of the book, but it, there was just so much going on and knowing, I also knew that like characters don't come back later and that the scope of the timeline of the series is so big that I wasn't super invested in these people, but I like to know how people feel about the world that they're in on a little more specific of a level. So pacing was solid, but due to the data dumps and the, the flat-ish characters, that kind of slowed it down for me, but I still finished it at a pretty good pace. So all in all, I gotta give this one three and a half, four. Still read it though, or, or it was really interesting. Check it out and I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you like it more than I did.